today on Be Something Wonderful, what you desire and feel is reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. An amazing day yesterday, lots of sessions, and I want to talk about one in particular because this topic has come up several times with clients. And she was saying it, Tom, my, how come my desire just feels bad to me? I feel like I'm, I feel exhausted with the processes. I feel exhausted with my desire. I'm just feeling negative emotion. And guys, I want to unpack this today in more. Here's what's going on, guys. It, it's not the desire that's negative. It's not even the processes that are making you negative or making you exhausted. It's none of that. Remember that your desire is that divine urge. That's from God pointing to a reality that's just as real as the reality you're living, if not more real. And it's, a, it's an alternative you living that out. And the only reason you feel negative emotion is your resistance to it. It's your focus on the unwanted, what you don't want, the undesire, <laughs> right? You're focused on that. And, and instead of following your bliss, is what Joseph Campbell said, or as Bashar says, following your excitement. That's why it feels bad because that's source, that's God saying, this is your excitement, this is your path, follow this. And you're resisting it because you're focused on the unwanted. I want to hit this. So it's not the processes that are making you exhausted. It's not the desire that feels bad. Rather, it's trying to make the unwanted or the undesired reality go away. That's creating the feeling of exhaustion. That's creating the feeling of negative emotion. Remember, it's just energy and it's pure positive energy from source. It's when you put it through filters of beliefs and assumptions that are negative that gives you that sensation of negative emotion, right? That's what resistance is. It's trying to change, avoid, get rid of, or run away from the unwanted reality. Instead of trying to run away from the unwanted reality, run towards the wanted, the desired, your passion, right? What you really want. It's desiring. So this resistance you're feeling that you're desiring people, conditions, and circumstances to be different than they are. You're trying to change and control them without changing within. Instead, Follow your passion, follow your desire, follow your excitement, as Bashar says. Remember, it's the world mirror. Your desires, hear this, your desires are the world mirror, the reality mirror, showing you who you can be. Wow. Showing you what happens if you follow your passion. That's what desire is. It's the world mirror showing you all that you can be. Wow, that's big. And you only feel negativity when you don't follow it, when you resist it, when you focus on what, what the unwanted, right? It's that divine urge. So focusing on what you don't want is exhausting, exhausting. And it keeps, and it keeps that reality real in your experience. And that's what makes the processes feel exhausting right? I'm exhausted and fed up with my desires in the process as well. Remember, it's only your belief that you're separated from what you want to be or have that's exhausting. It's only a belief that you're separated from your passion, from what you really want to be. You are separate from all that is, God, infinity, and your desire as an individual viewpoint, as I am, but you're never separated. I made this point in a few videos now. All that is, God, you are, your desires are spillovers from alternative versions and realities already experiencing what you desire. They're spillovers from realities already happening. That's why you feel such a strong desire. You're standing in the middle of all those realities and feeling it, right? But it, and the reason it doesn't feel good is because you're putting it through a belief filter that, that you can't reach it, that you can't have it. But it's there. It's God showing you it's there to follow it, right? So, so hear this. Desire is that divine urge telling you that you're already what you desire to be or have. It's showing you. It's the mirror. It's the divine mirror. It indicates that you are separate from that version of yourself. That's why you feel it in the form of desire. But 
you're not separated from it. So it indicates that for sure you're separate from that, that version of yourself, just like you're an I am, an individualized aspect of God. Right? But you're not separated from God and you're not separated from your desire. Right? You're not separated from that version of yourself that's already experiencing out. You're separate from it. You're a different version, but you're not separated from it. If you were, you wouldn't be able to desire it. That's big. Right? When you are desiring or craving it, you are implying. Here, and here's the thing. It's not the desire that's a bad thing. It's the desiring and craving it as if it's not already yours. You're implying that you're separated from it. Not separate from it, but separated from it. So you're desiring and craving it, thinking you can't have it. That keeps you focused on the lack and the unwanted. That's exhausting. Instead, move immediately to gratitude, to appreciation and love for that version of yourself and that reality. That moves you in the path. That's how you follow your passion. That's how you follow your excitement with gratitude, with love, with appreciation. So it's not so much about positive thinking and it's not about controlling thoughts. It's not about any of those things. It's, that's exhausting, right? You're, you're going to have all sorts of thoughts. It's not any of that, right? It's more about positive feeling, but it's not even trying to feel positive. It's who you already are. That desire is positive. You're just putting it through a filter of belief that's negative. Pure positive energy is that's why they call it pure positive energy, right? Taking the viewpoint and identity of the version of you already experiencing that desired reality. That's what we're talking about. That's what we mean by positive feeling. Feel the gratitude and love for this version of yourself. Now that's self-love, right? That's what we mean by self-love, right? You're feeling the gratitude and, and love for that alternative version of, of you who is you. That's self-love. There's nothing more important than, than how you feel. How you feel is determined by what you believe and assume. What you believe and assume is determined by your identity and the concept of yourself. Identify with that concept that's following their bliss, that's, that's following their excitement, that's following their passion, right? Remember, emotions are source energy. They're pure positive energy of love, your natural state of being. When you put this energy through the filter of your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions, they are labeled as feelings, either happy or sad or excited or depressed, depending on what filter you put them through, right? But they're pure positive energy. They're the peace that passes all understanding, right? Then you interpret this as a positive or negative. You put it through the filter, you interpret it. Mostly, you interpret it as negative, right? It's your resistance to those negative thoughts, beliefs, assumptions that feels bad. It's your emotional guidance system working perfectly telling you you're identifying with thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions that are not your true self or not true of whom you really are. Identify with your desired end, with your passion, with your bliss, the version of yourself following that excitement, right? That's what we're talking about. So remember, thoughts plus feelings equal your state of being, right? This is what Dr. Joe Dispenza, all the greats, all the spiritual greats talk about this, right? Your entire life experience right now, your reality or what you perceive, receive is, and manifest in 3D is that state of being, what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And you're only feeling what you're thinking, right? Your entire life experience right now is your reality or what you perceive, receive, and manifest in 3D comes from that state. So higher thought, oneness with God, plus elevated emotions of love, joy, and gratitude, that's your natural state of being. That's how your inner being feels. So when you're feeling something different, when you're thinking something different, lower thought, right? When you're having elevated emotions that are lower, that's why that's your inner being indicating through your feelings, through your emotion, that you're, you're, you're assuming something, you're believing something that's not true of who you really are. Or you're around something or you're taking action that's not true of who you really are. When you feel less than that, you feel less than who you really are. Hear this. When you feel less than that, you feel less than who you are. That's your body's translation of negative emotion. Any emotion less than love, less than joy, less than appreciation and gratitude is what, quote, you would interpret as negative emotion. That's your body's translation that you're assuming or believing you're less than who you really are. That's big. If you insist on thinking and feeling equal, this is what Dr. Joe Dispenza says, if you insist on thinking and feeling equal to the circumstances of your life, you will reaffirm that particular reality. That's why the reality feels continuous, 
solid, right? But no reality is continuous in, in, in solid. There's just the ultimate reality of love. But you're, in your beliefs in every moment, your assumptions, although they look like the same assumptions, the same beliefs, they're new in every moment. And your reality is new in every, in every moment. It's not continuous and you get to decide. It just gives you the illusion that it's continuous. You get to decide right now, right? That's big. So here's what Dr. Joe says. You have to think greater than the circumstances of your life. Be greater than the feelings you have memorized in your body, right? What, what, what um, uh, Eckhart Tolle calls the pain body, right? And live in a new line of time, right? Beyond time and space. When you, are, when, you, when you or when one holds a dream, independent of the environment, that's greatness, Dr. Joe. And so, so hold that dream, hold it, follow your passion, follow your bliss, your desired end. Don't, don't be moved by temporary 3D conditions. Don't be moved by temporary thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Don't be moved by the core belief in linear time. Reality then must yield and bend to your greater intention or your desire or your wish fulfilled. When you follow your desire, when you follow that, that desire that's coming from the divine, that the world mirror is showing you who you can be, then you can't, you can't get it wrong. The 3D world must yield to you and yield to that desire, to that passion. That is what you des that's why what you desire and feel is your reality. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can find us there on facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. It's an open group. You can share insights and guidance with others. You can give insight and guidance. You can ask for insight and guidance. You can share success stories. It's a beautiful group, a wonderful group. You can also follow us on Instagram at Tom Karen or Twitter at Tom Karen or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com where all that information is there and more. Creators, until next time, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, see you soon.